Debbie Blanks and Sublimation DTF members, it's Dawn and today is our Tutorial Tuesday and today we're going to look at a new product that Anna has available and these are the car um, shade clips. So, or your car, what are they called? Visor. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. So these are for car visor, um, cute little frames and so there's a couple different options available. You can do, they're both sublimation, and you can do, you know, just a design here with a picture here, and then we'll add our visor clip. Or you can do this one, which is really cute. You can do it with the wood back, so you've got the front sublimation, this middle piece, and then this back. And what you can do with this is change out your picture as you want to, so you can change your picture. So we're gonna do one of each. Um, you can also get the sublimation piece if you wanna do something in the background, but um, so it's really up to you, but we're gonna do it with the just the brown background. So I've got two different designs here. We're gonna do this one on our sublimation, which is the front piece, and then the back piece with the picture. And then on this one, I printed out the back piece, but we don't need that. Um, we're just gonna do this as our front piece. So two different, really three different style options available. As with all of our sublimation pieces, it's gonna have that protective sheeting on there. So we wanna take that off. Okay. And then I'm gonna take it off this piece also. And then for the other one, we just are going to use this front piece. So we're going to take that off also. And I already have my Cascadia Pro Heat Press set to 355 for 65 seconds. And so the first thing we're going to do is this front piece. And so, like I say with all my videos, what I do is I just drew a uh, rectangle and then a rectangle with a thing in the middle, printed that out, tested it, make sure that that was the size that I wanted. So then we're going to flip this over because you are going to mirror it. And we're just going to try to get it good and even in there because I, I did make it just a little bit bigger just because I wanted to make sure that we covered it all. And then we're just going to tape it down really good so it doesn't shift while it's pressing. We don't want any ghosting to happen. I'm just gonna take it down really good. And watch that it doesn't move while you're taking it down, because it just did on me. Okay. And we've got a blowout paper. I've already adjusted my pressure paper side up. And you don't, you know, you don't need a ton of pressure, just medium pressure. So just medium pressure, we'll let that go. And then we'll go ahead and tape our other pieces down. So we're just gonna tape this piece down. And this is our back piece. Um, and this one I you know, put a picture on. Take that down really good. And then we're gonna tape down our other frame for the one that we can change our picture on. And this one's harder to see because I've used a white, white, and pink color. It's a little harder to tell. But like I said, we want to tape that on really good. Make sure we get it taped on really good. Okay. So I don't need that. I'm going to keep my picture just, and this is just on plain paper so I can show you how it works. And we're about to count down here. And I can pull my drawer out. I absolutely love my Cascadia Pro. Okay. And just take my tape off. Just put my gloves on. It is a little warm. There's my front piece. 
So we're going to let that cool while we do the other pieces. And I think I can do both pieces at one time. So we're going to do the front of the frame for the wooden one and then the back of the frame for that one. We put our paper up. We got our blowout paper on the top and bottom. And like I said, and I put more in more wood in there than that one piece, so we're gonna have to adjust that a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go for 65 seconds and we'll be back. All right, we're about to go off. Okay, and this is our front for our other one. Ooh, hot. Keep forgetting to grab my gloves, so they pull down pretty quick. But there's the front for the interchangeable one. Ah, that came out so pretty. And there's our back for the non interchangeable one. So let's let all that cool down. Then I'm going to come back and we're going to put it all together. Together. Okay, so we're cooled down. So the first one we're going to do is the one with the wood backing. And this is the one where you can interchange your pictures. So it comes with this centerpiece that has the 3M tape on both sides. So that makes it easy. You don't have to worry about gluing. So we're just going to take that off of each side. So I'm going to do one side first and then we'll do the other side. So we're just going to line it up. I'm going to make sure we have it lined up nice and good. And then we're just going to press it together. So then we have this on the back. Okay. And then we're going to take this piece off on this side. And then same thing, just line it up on this side. Make sure it's all lined up and then press down really good. And then that's there so then you can just make it a little too wide and just put your picture down in there. And then you can take it out and then exchange them. So this is a good one if you want to be able to, this would be a good one for like a kid one. If you want to, you know, as they grow, do different years. Um, so really, really cute on this one. And then we're going to add our car visor clip now that I know. So, you know, this is going to stick on your visor like this. So, of course, we want this to be facing that way so that it when it's upside down on our clip and if our visor is up we're looking that way okay so that I'm just going to use some glue and I'm just going to use I've got super glue gel I don't have a whole lot left and you don't need a whole lot of it so I'm just going to put a little dot in between each of the dots on the back Okay, and then I just want to make sure that I get it in the middle. Okay, and then we're just going to let that sit. Okay, and then we'll put together our other one. And this one doesn't have the thing, so we are going to have to glue it. But that's what it's going to be. How cute is that? So I'm just going to put a little glue on this side. You, like I said, you don't need a ton because you don't want it to leak out. So I'm just going to put a little bit around the edge here. Okay, because I don't want it to leak out onto the pitcher. And then I just want to make sure I line it up really good. Okay. 
And then if you want to, once you get it lined up, you know, you can put something heavy on it. Just make sure it doesn't move like it just did. Okay, and then we're gonna let that sit and then we'll just put the clip, see that's already on there, on the back of that. So then when we clip this to our visor, uh, well, I just broke it off, so I might need a little more glue. <laughs> but I'm going to try this clear Gorilla glue. I may not have had enough. So this is my first time doing these two, so I'm kind of learning. So I'm going to try a little bit of this glue instead. put a little too much and I want to make sure I'm putting it the right way so I am okay so I'm gonna let that sit and dry because that it's not per se super glue so it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry so this should already be dry yeah so the super glue dries quick Okay, and then we're gonna put our clip on the back of this one. I'm just gonna use the same glue. And I probably used a little too much of that glue. But I'm gonna let that sit and dry. So when those dry, I'll come back. All right, so here is our one that's interchangeable, and here is our permanent picture one. How cute are these guys with the visor clip? So you can go to pnwblanks.com, check them out on Anna's site. Um, these are just super, super cute. Like, just so many different things you can do with them. Um, so make sure to check those out. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come join us on Facebook for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Happy pressing!